welcome to Electronica 2016. Now, ST recently unveiled the groundbreaking STM32 H7 series of microcontrollers. They're groundbreaking because they can deliver twice the performance and yet consume just half the power of their predecessors. Carsten Speak, as the ST lead on this, forgive the very technical question, how have you managed this? Thanks, Chris. Yes. Um, the STM32 family is basically a widely known microcontroller family in, in home application, in consumer application, in industrial application. And yes, with the new H7 family, we managed to increase the power and to reduce the power consumption. And this is basically done with the new technology we used. We have a new 40 nanometer process where we are able to have a much higher clock frequency and we have a concept of different power domains where the power consumption can be very much reduced compared to the systems before. Now the MCU market is full of competitors, so how are you going to stand out from the crowd? The STM32 H7 is what we call a bridge device, which bridges the, from the embedded world to the performance of microprocessors. So besides this, we also integrated a lot of new peripherals. For example, we have a new 14-bit AD converter, a very fast one, two mega samples. Um, we have new communication interfaces like the ISOCAN FD, and we have new graphic features like a hardware acceleration for, J, uh, for JPEG uh, videos. Um, besides, besides this, also uh, in terms of uh, memory size, we have a drastic increase here because normally you need more RAM if, if you have more uh, uh, functionality in, inside the application. And also here, the H7 is another record-breaking device. Now, these things work best when you can demonstrate the power yes. to me. So yes. What do we got here? OK. What you can see here is uh, that uh, the H7 is uh, playing a video using the hardware acceleration of, a, of the JPEG uh, peripheral. And you see that we are reaching 25 frames per second with only about 3% of usage of the, of the CPU. And if we, what we can do here, we switch off the hardware acceleration and you see immediately that the, that the CPU load is going to about 70% and the frame rate drops to only 15%. So all applications which have a high demand on uh, uh, graphics in the user interface sh uh, will really benefit on this hardware acceleration. So apart from video graphics, what are some of the key target applications? Okay, here we have all the applications who need high, high computing performance and also less power consumption, which may be industrial gateway, which may be uh, home automation systems, smart consumer devices, but also for the industrial market, high performance motor control, for example. Um, also for IoT and industrial 4.0 applications, um, the cryptographic uh, features of this device is also very, uh, very beneficial. Um, so you can realize a secure firmware update, for example, and this is very important for IoT. Carsten, lovely to talk to you. Thanks very much. Thank you very much, Chris.